So we recording, we live right now. Rec, we live, we live. Salute. Talk your shit. And Rec is in the building. I'm Doggy Diamonds. This is Talk Your Shit. But before we get into that, we got to do station identification right quick. Hold on. ForbesDVD.com. So now that they know what that is, it's Forbes DVD as always. This shit, this yes, is sir. This shit. I'm Doggy Diamonds. You can follow me on Instagram. You can see it right there on the screen. I'm in Breck. You see the handle right under me. Follow that. Appreciate and, um, you. And, and, and we here today because you know we want to talk about something that's that's been going on for a while, and we you know we got some questions. Why? Well, let's let's put the man of the, the of the minute right quick, right right there. <laughs> Who's that on the screen? LeBron James. LeBron James. <laughs> is, is that the goat? He's definitely one of the goats. So he's not the goat. Nobody's just the goat. Not in okay. sports, not in rap, and not in fucking life. <laughs> you understand? Because you're going to have people that are great at what they do as well, you know? Okay, and then, but you got, you know, he getting... Do you, All right, so the topic oh. today, let's just get right into it. Why does he get the hate that he get? In your opinion, why does he get the hate he get? One of the most dominant players of this era, hands okay. down. And that comes do you, with the, that comes with the territory. So, all right, let me let me run off why they hate LeBron James. They hate him. They say because he flops. They say uh, the referees save him every game. They say he lost in the finals. They say he started that big three. He left the team. He went there. And uh, go ahead. all right, not to cut you off. Now everybody that's saying this, how many fucking rings they got? Let's do that. Uh, I mean, if it's sports, Jordan is a very big critic of LeBron. Why do you think that is? I mean, of course, Michael Jordan, I'm going to be honest with you. He's very competitive, but he don't want nobody to uh, top his legacy. You know what I'm saying? Or even come close to it because as good as Kobe was, a great, as great as Kobe was, Michael Jordan didn't embrace him until like Kobe was like in his last couple of years about to leave. You dig I, I what I'm saying? Like, and I felt like he embraced Kobe because he wanted Kobe to be better than LeBron. He would say he picked Kobe over LeBron, which was weird, but I was like, you know, why well, pick any of them motherfuckers? You Michael Jordan. You ain't gotta pick nobody. And you know, truthfully <laughs> without Scottie Pippen, you know, you might have just been a good ass player on the bullshit ass team. Scottie Pippen definitely played a role in them, in them finals, two of them rings. Everybody you know played a role. Steve yeah. Kerr, John Paxton, you yeah. know, everybody. You know, Horace Bullshit. Grant. Bullshit ass Bill Winnington. You know, Cartwright. Yeah, so so yeah. uh let's let's talk about LeBron. Um Okay. One of the most dominant players, uh and, and he gets I think he gets hated too because he gets compared to um Michael Jordan, Jordan a lot. Yeah. And um, that's a hard motherfucker act to follow, man. Remember they was comparing Harold Miner. Harold Miner was a fucking bum too. Like, all he did was, <laughs> all he did was dump good. And they was like, he's like Jordan. I'm like, yo, he has never won a fucking game. Harold Miner was a fucking bum. And yeah. and um, LeBron, the shit I be seeing about LeBron, I be like, damn. They be calling him LeBum, all types of shit. I'm like, yeah, they gonna they gonna do that. Like you know, when you dominate at any field. They're going to knock you some kind of way. They're going to find something wrong. And it comes with, like I said, it comes with the territory. Unfortunately, um, I don't have an answer, one answer. I just think, um, you know, you when you playing at that high level and you dominating like that, it's like some, some, some real tough shoes to put on every day because you got to wear that shit every day. You know what I'm saying? You got to think coming. You got to think, all right. Even when it's fucking halftime, you got motherfuckers trying to throw shit on them. Drinks and, you know, and even at the end of the game, you fucking bum! You're like, you know, you ain't supposed to, you know, jump up and slap the shit out of somebody or grab their ass out the stands, you know? So you got to give it to LeBron and people of that stature that goes through that and, and maintain their composure because people be pressing the buttons, you know what I'm saying? What about that one where, that, where the chick was like, LeBron, you're a pussy. You ever seen that one? Like Yeah. And what he said to him, how you reacted to that? He was just like, yo, 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 yo. And, you know, he just looked, but I don't know, man. He got, 
yo, you gotta salute him because he maintains his composure. Because if she'd have said that shit to me, I'd have been like, eat a dick, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so let me ask you. All right, now let, let's go to some 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 reality real quick about LeBron. And um, this is coming from JME Sleazy on um Instagram. This is a meme that he put up that I know that's floating around. It says, and this is about LeBron. Uh huh. When you've donated over forty million dollars for kids to go to college, never cheated on your wife. Became successful without a father, almost fin finished building the school, and donated millions to six different charities, but you're still one of the most hated people in the world. What do you, when you hear that, what do you think? It's ridiculous. Like, it's unreal. It's like, this is, is this the world we live in? When somebody, you know, uh, invested in education for other people, we talking about millions. How many millions? What, 20 million? How much was uh, it? I think it's more than that. Hold on. According to this meme right here, it's 41.8. Wow. So you mean to tell me, I right, just going off that LeBron is not supposed to feel disrespected as a man putting on for his team, putting on for his family every night, putting his life on the line because, you know, you can die on that court. Facts. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and then I mean, also, that, well, well, we gonna we gonna call it ain't as brutal as boxing, them, but you know, people heart give out sometimes, it, fucking running up and down. Yo, that people, court. Exactly, heart can give out. You know what I'm saying? You come down the wrong way and break your neck, it's over. Yeah, 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 yeah. People yeah. don't come back from a, a broken neck. Yeah. So, um, and then, you know, he's not the type that be flossing on social media either. Like you, you hear about look, he's. He's being endorsed by Kia. So yeah. obviously, LeBron is not about, you know, the flash and the money and trying to floor some people because he could have easily oh, went for you're big talking back. about Kia the car? Kia the car. Holy shit. This Who the fuck drives a Kia? Say it again? Who the fuck drives a Kia? But this is the point I'm making. Wow. You, you mean to tell me Mercedes Benz didn't reach out to LeBron, BMW, you know, Maybach, so forth and so on. That was a conscious that was a conscious decision with him and his team. Because to me, that's part of, you know, who he is. You know well, what I mean? One other thing that bothers me mm -hmm. about the hate that he get, I mean, you know, sports is sports. Sports is very, you know, people are very, very uh, idiot yeah. idiotic about sports. But off the court, I've never seen him in trouble. He's never been arrested, never got caught drunk driving. He ain't get caught busting another chick draws. He, you know what I'm saying? Nice. It's a lot of shit that he, he spends times with his children and all that. Like, I think they, if you don't like the basketball player, that's cool. But the way they hate the person, like he fucking was in a third grade class. He used to shoot spitballs at them and shit. Like, what the fuck? Like yeah. that shit he get, they call him. It's LeBron. unwarranted. Like, yeah. let's just call it what it is. That LeBron hate on and off the court. This is me saying this. It's yeah. unwarranted because on the court, most dominant, and he shows up every night. Every night. Not, yo, he's, you know, uh, three nights out the week. Every night, whether they pay, you know, play seven days a week or five days a week, he shows up. He and he played the most minutes. Say it again? He played the most minutes, too. Oh, this is what I'm saying. They just they just had, um, when I was looking at the game, um, I think he's, he plays the most minutes out of everybody in, in NBA. Like, and, you know. and so, so um, let's close this out. Um, what you what you got to say to the LeBron haters out there? I would say get a fucking life and and <laughs> get something for that fucking sickness you got. Like because you gotta think the LeBron hate is not just for LeBron. I, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, the same people who hated LeBron hated Jordan and they hate Mayweather and they hate any player or any any sports figure or or, or any rapper or whoever that dominates they feel it's a sickness it's not a lebron thing it's a it's a sickness so get well because you hate is is that shit worse than aids y'all need to get that shit right you know what i'm saying how, how much how much do you attribute it to uh the birth of social media in this era of sports i would contribute fucking 85 percent, maybe 90 well, how you think it would have been if uh, Instagram and all the shit was out when Muhammad Ali was boxing and, and Jordan was playing sports? They would have got it. Because you got to think, 
now we just now hearing everybody opinions because of social media. Yeah. Now you gotta think you hearing the world opinions on LeBron and and and, and you know everybody that's playing in this time now, this era now, or, or dominating the field now. But you you had the naysayers when Ali was fighting and, and Jordan was playing. You just couldn't hear them because there wasn't no social media. But if you was friends with these people, you heard that in conversations and, and debates and everything else. You yeah, know what I'm saying? at one point it was just barbershop talk and motherfucker. Now a person could actually go under somebody's comment and say, Nas, you a fucking bitch. Yeah. Or Jay-Z, I hate your guts. Or 50 Cent, aha, ah, ah, that's why you guys... I think that that shit is... Um, to me, personally, when a person wakes up every day and hates on something and you ain't post nothing you love, you ain't post nothing that you in support of, you are completely, absolutely out of your fucking You're a fucking mind. loser. Straight up and down. And on that note, man, I'm Doggy Diamonds. Follow me at Doggy Diamonds on Instagram. Yo, but let's do this. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Losers, losers are supposed to hate winners. Think about that. And we're going to end it like that. All right, so that's what it is. <laughs> Rex, fucking I don't know losers. where they can get you at. Go on, talk let your them know, Let them know where they could get you at. Right at the bottom of this motherfucking screen, at MREC GM. DM me only for business only, and, the, and to sloop, keep your fucking hate, die with that hate, and I'm gone. And make sure y'all subscribe to MREC TV. Subscribe to this too, yes. Forbes DVD. Hit the bell for all notifications. We're going to be doing this on the regular. We're going to be here all the time just talking our shit. Fox That's what the facts. fuck we do. We started this shit, so we're going to show y'all how this shit's supposed to be done. I'm We started this whole way with this internet, the interviews, the in-depth. We'll get to the that. street we'll, shit. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. all that. But we Follow like, me oh, right here. Talk shit. Yeah, Play Doggy time Diamonds. Over, boy. Yeah, Doggy Diamonds. Follow me here. Make sure you subscribe to Doggy Diamonds TV. 100,000 subscribers. Thank you to everybody subscribing. Eck is, Reck is, I said Eck. Reck is at like 85,000. Let's get them to that buck. And that's what it is. Subscribe yes, to sir. the Forbes Appreciate DVD. Y'all. Yo, you. we out of here, man. We out of here. Talk your shit, man. If you want to talk your shit with us, make sure you hit us up and shit like that too. Forbes DVD promo at gmail.com. And if you want your commercial on here, hit us up. Forbes DVD promo at gmail.com for business. Facts. We out of here.